I always wanted to give back in my hometown community and I'm from Sanford originally and so an organization that serves kids in Chatham, Harnett and Lee counties was a perfect fit for me. Chatham Literacy is a small nonprofit and we provide adults who live or work in Chatham County with educational and literacy services. When they really see that we're here to help them, it just brings joy to our hearts and it makes us want to go and help some more. My name is Billy Kay. I'm the executive director of the Five and Two Food Pantry. One of our mottos here is anybody can fall in a hard time. That's a reason why we don't do income based here. So anybody could have a hard week and need us. In a day, like today was Monday, we saw 105 people today already. Um, we average about 1,600 a month. My name is Sarah Womack. I'm the CEO of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Carolina. And it's really amazing the programs that we run really meet kids where they are. So whether it's academic success and helping kids get ahead and stay ahead in the classroom, or drug and alcohol prevention, helping young men and young women become leaders and be ready for those opportunities that will come to them. I'm Dr. Sheree Smith, Executive Director of Drug Free Moore County. Um, we provide evidence-based treatment options and prevention education for youth and adults. Um, we help persons specifically who are suffering from mental health or substance use disorders. We need help from our community, so we are thankful for the members of Central Electric. Um, we're thankful for grants and all the persons that have that place in their heart that are willing to help us continue to do the things that we do. I'm Vicki Newell, Executive Director with Chatham County Literacy Council, also known as Chatham Literacy. We help folks to learn to read, write, speak, and understand English. And so all of those things then help so that somebody can navigate the healthcare system, get better paying jobs, so that they can help their children with their homework or maybe help talk to their teacher. So all these things are results of the ESOL instruction. So it's important to me because my grandmother raised me and she used to feed all the children in the neighborhood. Everyone would come to her house to eat. So as a grown up, you know, I have the same passion of feeding people that are in need or hungry. It's very important for communities to rally behind organizations such as Drug Free Moore County to make sure that we're successful and to make sure that those persons that are hurting get the help that they need for their pain relief. I'm so glad to make a difference. And it's not just me making the difference. I wanna give a huge shout out to everybody who rounds up their bill because a little bit goes a long way and that's an example of what your change is doing for our community. Thank you. Thank you members of Central Electric for donating to Operation Roundup. You give hope to so many kids in our communities and we are so grateful. Your small donation makes a big difference in our community. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Central Electric members. You're awesome. awesome.